There's so much happening in the world right now, and it's very easy to turn to foods that comfort you. It's very easy to turn to your favorite foods. It's very easy to do those things. You know, when you see people being murdered on television and countless people and people really abusing their so-called authority, because believe it or not, some of these people actually don't have authority. And it's very hard to watch that. So, you know, sometimes turning to your favorite foods make you feel powerful. So I really want to, for the people who jump on this video, drop a comment below. I want to check in with you and see what are the thoughts that are currently going through your head? What's currently happening right now? How do you feel? I want you to dump it in the comments, okay? And we can discuss that. So I wanted to do this video because even though there's murder happening, you do not have to commit suicide through food. Okay, we're going to cover that. I'm Avishai L, certified raw food educator, holistic health coach and lifestyle expert. And I'm not going to do the whole spiel today because it's a different day today. Okay, so we're just going to focus on mainly, you know, what foods are causing this slow suicide. So a lot of people, especially with the unemployment and maybe cutbacks, you know, with work and things like that, and I've been there too, um, they gravitate or you gravitate towards certain foods that are quick and easy, right? A lot of people want quick and easy. And when we look at fast foods, we think that fast foods are only, you know, maybe from Burger King, maybe from Wendy's. And I say that all the time. However, fast food is also food that you consume fast, food that you digest fast, and foods that quickly cause you to gain weight, foods that quickly create sickness. And this is not the time, especially with everything that's happening, it's not the time to be sick at all. But I also know how easy and how tempting it is to go for certain foods that comfort you. And that's why it's a form of magic, essentially, when people create these foods, because they know, you cannot tell me, these food manufacturers, a lot of them owned by Monsanto, they know based off of science, what foods are actually going to comfort you, give you that feeling of comfort. And this is why they put emulsifiers and artificial coloring and food stabilizers and things in there that make you feel like you're comfortable. You know, it's not, it's similar to drugs even. You know, when you do um, drugs, there's certain things in there that keep you addicted, that keep you on a certain high. Why? Because the person who made it has done research. They know what happens in the body to keep you coming back for more, coming back for more, and coming back for more, and eventually killing yourself, right? So it's the same thing with food. I want you to know the science behind this. The people who create this, they know how it's going to affect you. So yes, there's a bunch of genocide happening, and I'm going to cover that in the next video, but there's also a food genocide going on. And and for someone to get to you through food, they can alter you, okay? Your DNA can be altered through certain foods. That's why I say all foods are not created equal and all food is not food at all, okay? It can affect the way you think, the way you feel, and the way you act. And this is why, you know, a lot of people are frustrated. Oh, this person's not reacting. This person's not saying something. Some people don't have the capacity, because of how they diet, because of how they eat, okay? Um, back in, I want to say, I don't know the specific date, but I know back in the day where certain people were in power, they put, you know, fluoride in the water. Why? Because if you could calcify that spiritual connection, you can control people. So food is meant certain foods owned by Monsanto, those genetically modified foods are meant to control people. And this is why this video is super imperative 
that I know firsthand how hard it can be to be dealing with so much shit happening. And the fastest thing, you just want to eat a bucket of ice cream. You want to eat that cake. You want to soothe those feelings. But let me tell you, it's not doing that. And this is why I want to offer you some alternatives. Drop a comment below if you want those healthier alternatives. What I will say is to look at your cabinet, your pantries, whatever you call it. What do you currently have in there? And today, if you have the guts, I want you to throw it out and replace it. Maybe you can't afford certain things right now, you know? Maybe you bought that cereal. Maybe you bought a lot of people like, you know, sweet treats. A lot of people like chocolate, especially with all of this happening. And a lot of people like certain things. I want you to throw it out, get it out of your house because it has ingredients that could kill you. This is not the time to do that. I know you want to help people. You're not going to be able to help people if you can't help yourself. And the consequences from eating certain foods is not worth it. It's not worth dementia. It's not the right time to be having that. It's not the right time to be dis, you know, I was talking about my story yesterday, but it's not the time to be immobile, okay? It's not the time to have a heart attack because you decided that this was too much to handle. Let me put extra butter on my chicken. This is not the time for that. Really hone in and say, you know what? I'm gonna throw out these fried foods these processed foods, when I say process, like the artificial coloring, the oils, the heavy on the sugar, the, the heavy on the salt. You know, if you want high blood pressure, here you go. Put that extra tomato sauce on your pasta. You know, this is why I say food label literacy is important. Why aren't they teaching this in school? This is super important. Why aren't they teaching this? Why? Because if you don't teach people that, therefore they don't know it. And it's a food is a silent killer. It really is. It is a silent killer. If you want to go towards certain foods, you want to make sure they satiate you and they feed you on a mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual level. We function on, you know, we have oxygen. You know, we're we're alive beings. You know, we breathe. You know, I talked about this on my podcast about spirit, spiritus, which means breath. So how are you functioning? What, what happens with, on, with your spiritual connection when you're not putting foods that send oxygen to your body? What happens to that? It disappears, right? So wh who's controlling you now? Who's controlling you? Essentially, it's the food manufacturers because you keep going back and you keep going back and you keep going back to them. And another reason you know, for people who are with it and open-minded, like the people I work with, a lot of these food manufacturers are working with other companies that are supporting the trafficking of children. So where's your funds going to? So if, if maybe you have a food addiction, but maybe you need another why as to why you shouldn't be eating foods like that. Yes, you might love, I don't know, Twizzlers, you know, but let's say Twizzlers is owned by a company that's supporting other people. It's all a big corporation at the end of the day. So think about those things, okay? Make sure you're focusing on foods that actually feed your cells the oxygen that it needs, that actually feeds your body the vitamins and minerals that it needs to function at its optimum. Give your body what it needs. For those of you who can't, maybe can't afford everything. So I've seen people who can't afford everything and they've put soda, they've put Fruit Loops, they've put um, mayonnaise, they've put crackers, they've put the things in their cart that they've been taught because the, they're not educated on food. You know, these are people in poor areas who think, who still have that mindset that food is food and that's not okay. So I want you to take that and see that that's way more than like 20. I say notes, people say cash. That's way more than 20 notes worth. Instead of getting that bag of cereal or box of, I don't know what they have now, the frozen foods, Miss Calendars, or I don't know who, you know, frozen dinners. Instead of doing that, take the time and say, I'm going to replace this with a bag of apples. 
okay, maybe that those bag of chips that I love are $3.99, but I know these green beans are $3.99. So put that in your cart. Make a conscious effort to say, I'm not feeding my body this. I know the big purpose behind this, which is to get me to kill myself slowly because you are committing a slow suicide every time you put food to your mouth. And your funds to get that food is going to support the trafficking of children. It's going to support other foundations that you have no clue. Let me tell you, they are in bed with pharmacy. And I had someone on my show who was talking about pharmacia. You know, they all work together for your demise, believe it or not. So again, if you needed a why as to why you should stay away from certain foods, there you go. Um, maybe shop local with local farmers, local organic farmers, support local and organic as much as possible. Yes, we know that all companies, even maybe some organic companies, it all depends, work for whoever. Supporting more of the people who are actually putting into the earth you know, in a good way will help, will help immensely. So like I said, focus on in on more produce, more things higher in water content, more foods higher in water content, you know, and you can make a bunch of different recipes with certain foods. I'm not saying you can live on green beans and apples. I'm just saying, see what you can replace that you're currently buying because you think that organic and whatever is too expensive see what you can replace that with okay so like i said it's very easy to go to certain foods but make sure you're cutting out that processed foods it's not going to help your thinking and the reason why people turn to certain foods it could be because because um, or crave certain foods. So how can you actually fight these cravings? Because you might be craving chocolate, you might be craving ice cream. Sometimes it's a lack of sleep. So that's one reason. Um, when you have a lack of sleep, you're not releasing the necessary hormones, um, your, your body, this is how people become um, leptin resistant as well, because they're not going to sleep on time. You know, you wake up craving certain things. So it's a lack of sleep. Um, I remember not being able to sleep and I'd wake up craving cake. And then that's where that toxic hunger comes in, which I talk about with my clients, you know, not true hunger. So you're not really hungry. It's toxic hunger due to the fact that maybe you ate toxic things, that too. That can create toxic hunger and further those cravings. Um, a lot of times you have cravings because you're lacking vitamins and minerals that the body wants but is not getting because you're eating certain foods. So it's stripping away those nutrients. So there's so many factors as to why people have the cravings and how to fight those cravings is actually what I like to do is replacing what you like. And then sometimes it's an emotional thing, like what's happening. You crave certain things because you want that comfort and you really have to start writing down why you're craving certain things. So those, those are the reasons, okay? It's an emotional thing. It's lack of sleep. It's the nutrients that you're lacking. And it's also that, you know, toxic hunger versus true hunger type of thing. So you want to hone in on that. If you want my sheet for or, or all healthier alternatives, drop a comment below and I will get that to you. I'm going to hop on the next video where I'm actually going to be talking about the current happenings in the world and the genocide of melanated people that's currently happening, and as well as actionable steps you can take to fight for your rights that will be recognized um, in a way that you can get your point across and have this this stop essentially and take your power back. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. Make sure you're cutting out those foods. It's really a, greatly impacting your mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual health. And this is what they want. <laughs> they want that. That's a silent killer that no one's paying attention to right now. And it's it still needs to be paid attention to as well as the other things. 
but we need to take action and stop letting people control our lives, stop letting the lies penetrate our minds and stop listening to people who are lying to you. They're lying. If someone's saying buy this, this is 100% whole grain and on the back of the label is just full of shit, you know, they're lying to you. A liar will always tell you the truth in a lie. And that's what they're doing. They're telling you the truth. It's 100% whole grain. 100% whole grain is like the last ingredient. It's filled with artificial coloring, um, probably natural flavors. They tell you that's real ingredients where it's really from a beaver or some sort of animal, which consists in the natural world. Um, it has dextrose, cottonseed oil, all the shit that can kill you. Like, what is that? The body can't even process it. So you have to start doing your own research. Stop depending on people. They're not going to tell you the truth. Okay. You have to start finding the truth for yourself and I can help you. So I hope this video is helpful. I'm going to hop on the next one. Join me on the next one at 225. Okay. Much love.